Greece is a special place, a land of great diversity, bountifully endowed by nature. It is a land of contrasts and surprises. In the dawn of civilization on the island of Crete, located at the watery crossroads of the Mediterranean, the first consummate European civilization, the Minoan, was born, flourished, and left indelible marks on the next millennium. The brightly colored frescoes that adorned the palace of the mythical king Minos in Knossos still tell of what life was like in Minoan Crete. But while Crete was at the height of its glory, the raging eruption of the volcano on Thera was destroying everything. On another shore of the same sea, for thousands of years now, the prehistoric city of Thera has slept buried under the volcanic lava. Santorini is an extraordinary experience. Next to the volcano, man's stubborn struggle for life, beauty and love that has gone on for centuries now. in space and time. We cross watery paths that divide the mainland in half. Still echo in the ancient theatre of Epidaurus with its perfect acoustics. Verses inspired by the glory and passions of the Athrids who ruled over neighbouring Oriferous Mycenae, the central scene in civilization. Precious funeral gifts bear witness to the attention paid to earthly things and respect for the afterlife. The royal tombs stir the imagination. mind in a healthy body. In no other land was physical prowess, in combination with mental attributes, adored as much as in ancient Greece. This cultivation of the spirit, together with care of the body, is evident in the sculptures of classical antiquity. The navel of the earth for the ancients 
is situated in a unique natural setting. The oracle, whose prophecies were respected by the entire ancient world, has long fallen silent. Yet today, as we wander through that sacred place, we feel the grandeur and radiance of what was for centuries the incontestable center of the earth. Noble competition, the primordial form of athletics, was an institution of ancient Greek civilization many centuries before 776 BC, the year in which, traditionally, the first celebration of the Olympic Games was held. The ceremony of the lighting of the Olympic flame takes place every four years, here in ancient Olympia. Here at the foot of the hill of Cronus, one of the most important sanctuaries of the ancient world emerged, a pan-Hellenic athletic religious center protected by Zeus himself. For the duration of the games, all hostilities between Greek city-states were suspended with the declaration of the sacred truce. Athletic installations, sports activities, contests, well-run cosmopolitan resorts and first-class ultra-modern tourist facilities all form today's Greece. one lives at a more human pace. One can have fun and take pleasure from the simple everyday things, enjoy the good food, the company, the music. Mountain villages with their idyllic natural beauty and traditional architecture have their own devotees. Thrill seeking sports fans can test their limits in the rivers, on the mountains, and the gorges. Then they can enjoy culinary delights from the treasures of the local cuisine. Genuine Greek dishes and natural, unadulterated products of the land.
circle of islands, the Kikladis. In the middle, the island of Delos. The sacred island of Apollo, the god of light, one of the most important centers of religion and worship in antiquity. The entire island, uninhabited today, is a vast archaeological site. All the beauty and brilliance of classical antiquity stands high up on the sacred rock of the Acropolis of Athens. The Parthenon, the temple of Athena Parthenos, is the supreme example of architectural perfection. The Erechtheum, the exquisite temple with unique caryatid porch, is built of pendalic marble. At the Propylaea, with its magnificent columns, the Doric order meets the Ionic. Macedonia, the home of Alexander the Great. 4,000 years of Greek history and civilization. The Pan Macedonian sanctuary of Zeus in ancient Dion, in a magical natural environment at the foot of lofty Mount Olympus. Here the Macedonians honored the god of gods from the very beginning of their history. The treasures of Virgina from the unlooted royal tomb of Philip II. The precious wreath of the dead king was found in the solid gold reliquary together with the royal ashes. of Greece, a precious fresco in the Greek waters. Their uniqueness is reflected in the diversity of the landscapes and the variety of their houses. The blending of white and blue sky, the magnificent sea, the sun and the magical light in which they are bathed create a sense of heavenly flight.
monastic communities, unpretentious witnesses of a centuries-old tradition. A tradition that preserves the wealth and the imagination of unique architecture and persists in the ethos of communal life. Monasticism has respectfully preserved a precious treasure of Christianity, the priceless heirlooms of Byzantium, and has never ceased throughout the years to devoutly administer to the spoken word and the arts. and contrasts, wondrous creations of Greek nature that startle and challenge the visitor. Quite a few conquerors from both East and West passed through Greek territory and left their traces in many corners of the land. The palaces of foreign potentates, fortress strongholds and citadel states, places of worship remind us of their passage. The Greek spirit opened roots of communication with foreign civilizations. It selects, assimilates, influences. It gives and it takes. But in the end, it prevails. It is not just the myth, the history, the bounty of nature, the grandeur of the landscape. It is the masterly combination of all these in a country chiseled with age-old human creativity. Wonder in the charm of its past. Discover the treasures of Greek nature. Enjoy the Greece of today.
Mykonos, the island of contrasts. Mykonos is poised between the traditional element and the modern, between cosmopolitan life and the tranquility of the landscape. popular Cycladic architecture presents all of its grandeur in the churches of Mykonos. Mykonos has so many beaches that it is virtually impossible to visit them all. Local picturesque rowboats continually carry tourists to and from the endless sandy beaches. Nature has been more than generous to Mykonos, endowing it with some of the most breathtaking coastline in Greece. Ornos, a sheltered fishing village, combines traditional ambience with the warmth of the landscape. At Kalafati, windsurfers may ride the Miltemi, the fresh Aegean wind that blows over the island every summer. At the Paradise Beach, young people enjoy companionship, the sun and rock music. Mykonos never sleeps. On the contrary, it bustles at night with life and excitement, with celebrities from the world of science, art, politics and even fashion. For Mykonos is fashion, but is a constant source of fashion as well. Ships, planes and charter flights join Mykonos with the other Greek islands and the rest of the world. Yet Mykonos also conceals another aspect. The Aegean Naval Museum houses models of ships, ancient maritime instruments, important documents and maps. Lina's house is furnished and decorated with items typical of the 19th century. The Archaeological Museum also contains significant finds from Rhenia and Delos. Delos, an island quite close to Mykonos, dates back historically to the 3rd millennium BC. There, one can visit the sanctuaries of Apollo and Isis, the lion's lair, the stadium, the ancient theater, the house of masks and the Delos Museum, with many enormously valuable finds. Parikia is a typical Cycladic settlement with its own character and personality. 
one jewel of Perikia is the Ekatantapiliani, a wonderful 6th century Byzantine church. This church, with its long history and fascinating traditions, adds splendor and grandeur to the island. The blue of the sky and the sea, along with the whitewash of the houses, blend under the rays of the sun. And light, everywhere light, pierces through every crack and illuminates Paris. In the villages, the sense of human measure, retained successfully by the popular craftsman, along with the economy and functionality of space, create a feeling of scenery. Paros is known as the Cycladic island with gold and sandy beaches. At the small picturesque harbour of Nausa, with its fishing boats, we shall even further enjoy the Cycladic whiteness as well as the authenticity of the landscape. Columbithrus, the boulders and waves create a unique natural sculpture. Santa Maria is a meeting point for the most experienced and skilled surfers from around the world. Time slows down and one has plenty of time for a stroll along the harbour, the beaches and the narrow streets with the small churches in genuine cycladic colour. Yet the famous cave of Antiparus is the final winner in the Battle of Impressions.
a volcano, the earth struggling to maintain its fertility. The aromatic scent, reminiscence of times going by. Coasts with impressive colors, this is the Santorini of today. Boulders rising barren from the sea and on the brow of their cliff, snow white houses. The massive and imposing churches of Santorini stand in sharp contrast to the humble houses. The island's beaches combine the reddish-black volcanic earth with the deep blue of the Aegean Sea. Pebbles, fine sand, in a waste range of locks, lend a unique quality to the beaches of Santorini. In order to appreciate this quality, one must come to know the wealth, the history and the geological sensitivity of the landscape. Santorini is full of small traditional villages, Exogonia, Acrotiri, Castelli and countless other hamlets, each of which finds its own unique place on the island. In ancient theory, one comes to know the civilization of Santorini before the eruption of the volcano. The houses, revealed by the archaeologist's pick, date from some 3,500 years ago. Kameni, the small jack-black island opposite Santorini, strikes one with its still smoldering volcanic crater. No one must leave Santorini without visiting the neighboring island of Tiresia with its solitary village settlement which gave the name to the island. Along with the eruption of the volcano, the entire region submerged into myth. Who knows? Perhaps ancient Atlantis will indeed be discovered one day in the area in the myths will prove true. And then again.
Athens, city of the gods. The school of Elas, in the words of the Athenian historian Thucydides. A modern megalopolis that preserves intact the memories of her past. Crossroad of peoples and cultures, birthplace of intellectual wisdom and artistic expression. The city symbol of the Olympic Games. In Athens, let your mind wander nostalgically to the past. Let your senses delight freely the present. In the Greek capital, the Attico Metro holds many pleasant surprises. It doesn't take long for the visitor to Athens to get to know its loveliest parts, while at the same time enjoying one of the finest metros in the world. At the heart of the city is Sindharma Square with its own special splendor. Hub of the history of modern Greece. Almost every visitor to Athens spends the first few hours exploring Plaka. The quaint old neighborhood is like a superb stage set. Time has passed this way and etched its presence everywhere. This lively corner of Athens, open to the world, keeps its allure all year round. When night falls, Plaka becomes truly beautiful. Everything flows in the rhythm of authenticity. In its traditional tavernas, every day is a feast day. Hospitality here is not just a feeling, it's a way of life. With most ancient roots. As the hours pass, Athenian nights offer images found nowhere else. Magical nights filled with pleasure. Athens is an inexhaustible well of surprises. The more you discover, the closer you bond. Every day in this city is a wonderful and unforgettable experience. The highlight is, without doubt, the visit to the Acropolis. The Parthenon. The temple epitomizing beauty and art. The Parthenon is the most beautiful of all the monuments. A work of spiritual perfection, acknowledged worldwide as man's ultimate achievement. Here, every art form reached its zenith. At the edge of the sacred rock,
The Acropolis Museum Unique in the world for its precious collections. On the south slope of the Acropolis, places where the highest form of art developed, leading word and thought to the pinnacle of their expression. The Theatre of Dionysos, Cradle of Dramatic Art. And close by, the Odium of Herodus Atticus, specially designed in those days for performances of music and plays. The Hill of the Areopagus, from where Paul the Apostle preached to the Athenians of the Unknown God. Opposite is the hill of the Pnyx. Amidst these rocks, the ideas of justice and democracy flowered. The Acropolis and its environs, a marvelous archaeological park. Ancient, Roman and Byzantine buildings await one at every step reviving memories of an illustrious past. Monuments that unite the ages and perpetuate the Greek capital's glory. Athens is a city of contrasts which endow her with a personality all her own. Monastiraiki is a veritable picture album. People, dreams, vendors and buyers crowding the streets. After sightseeing on the Acropolis and the areas around, the time has come for a delicious meal. In some shaded sidewalk cafe or in a cool lobby of one of the excellent hotels that grace the Greek capital. The choice is yours. Athens hotels are tastefully decorated and well appointed. Modern units to meet all needs. Here the tourist can choose what suits him best. Culture is the eternal soul of Athens. The visitor gets some sense of this when attending one of the many cultural events organized here.
summer nights at the foot of the Acropolis, exhilarating for the intellect and the emotions. After an outstanding performance, there is always some beat to win your heart. Nightlife on the Saronic coast knows no bounds. The visitor to Athens can enjoy the sea and sun in many ways. He can always escape to the cool of the Apollo coast. Piraeus, the port of many songs. From here one can sail in only a few hours to the islands of the Argosaronic Gulf. Just a breath away from Athens, one can enjoy super moments at sea. The Saronic shores are a taste of rare beauty. Here, everything reveals a bright and happy world. Modern hotel complexes in choice locations promise a friendly and pleasant stay. Touring Attica is a wonderful experience. Everywhere the sun, the sea spray and the colours of Greece. Sunion, the sacred cape of the ancient Greeks. Imposing on the rocks, master of the waves of the Aegean Sea, the Temple of Poseidon. One of the handsomest temples of classical times. In Lavrion, old and new, plain and pretty, poetry and imagination recreate the life that once flourished here. The Attic Peninsula is unique in synthesis. Alongside the modern stand the creations of antiquity. Brauron, Marathon, as far as the Amphiorion. A judicious balance between natural beauty and historical memory. Boredom is an unknown word in Athens. After a tiring day of roaming, a quiet moment is essential. An opportunity to take a walk in the city centre. The National Garden and the Zapion Park are oases in the heart of Athens. Opposite, the Old Marble Panathenaic Stadium, where the Olympic Games were revived in the spring of 1896. And here again, 
At the dawn of the new millennium, the Olympic spirit will embrace the youth of the world. Athens is exceptionally rich in monuments, museums, collections of historical and artistic interest. Her museums are unique and their exhibits priceless. Shopping in Athens is a must. Luxury stores with an endless variety of goods make the Greek capital one of the largest shopping centers in Europe. It's well worth a visit. Your stay in Athens is truly a wonderful opportunity to explore the past and enjoy the present. Usually the last few hours of a trip Roll by calmly. A last visit to the foot of the sacred rock, a kind of farewell, and certainly some souvenir. Foretaste of departure and promise of return to the city of the gods. <laughs>